Hey guys, this is Landros, and welcome into a real quick glimpse of my personal game. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, my game is going to run a little slow and a little uh, jerky right now. The reason is, I'm doing about five or different five different things at the same time. I'm actually recording this video, I'm rendering a video, I'm converting another one, and I'm uploading yet another one. So, there's that, plus I've got a couple other background processes going, so yeah, if the game's a little bit um, slow, uh, that's pretty much why. Anyway, if you guys have been watching my channel for any length of time, then this guy, of course, is very recognizable to you. This is Brandon Shepard. And, um, you know, I've had favorites that I've actually played with ever since I started The Sims. And it's kind of come and gone. You know, Kevin Marshall from My World Adventures was originally one of my favorite. Actually, was my favorite. Then it was Lucas from Supernatural. And he's still the avatar that's on my, um, on my actual screen. However, Brandon has been my favorite for quite some time, and so I've been playing with him in my personal game quite off, uh, pretty much off and on ever since I created him for Midnight Sun. All right, so what is this game? Uh, you probably see that we're living in this little bitty, little bitty um, starter home, and we got a whole bunch of garbage and stuff out here, and uh, yeah, it's kind of unique. All right, this game is kind of weird. It's not, I guess you could call it a challenge in a way. It's just kind of um, one that has a whole lot of set rules and routines that you have to do. Okay, the way I'm going to do it, and I'll just explain it, um, I guess we can just call it Landros, um, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> Landros Challenge, I have no idea, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, the what, what I did is I just created one sim, and you're only allowed to have one sim, and you will eventually max out this house with four sims and only four sims, and they're going to be very specific. So, um, I started with Brandon. Create your sim, young adult. It can be human, it can be supernatural, whatever you want. He happens to be a werewolf, um, just because I like playing with werewolves. So I made him a werewolf, and then everybody else that actually comes into the house will have to be some other different type of person, you know, a different type of supernatural or human. Doesn't matter, just everybody has to be unique. Okay, and that's not really the big thing. It's really not. It's just. You know, just to make them unique and give you something to kind of work on and that's why he's kind of got this so eventually he'll be able to help convert the future people into um, different uh, supernatural types okay now you start this game in Sunset Valley and no matter what you're doing you have to start it in Sunset Valley to play the challenge the way I'm playing it and I'm, I call it a challenge it's really not but it is a very it's a long challenge it's about a, a 10 month challenge and when I say 10 months I mean 10 human months it's a very long challenge Okay, the way you do it is um, you start off in Sunset Valley, pick any career you want, doesn't matter, but you are only allowed to stay in this town for 15 days. And that's not sim days, that's 15 real life days. So I've been playing this guy for a little over two weeks. We're right on day 15, so today is our last day in Sunset Valley. Um, create him any way you want, give him any lifetime. Oh no, you can you can give him any traits you want, but the lifetime wish has to be very specific. Um, and there's a reason for that. All right, so the lifetime wish has to be Season Traveler. Now, some of you guys are already going, oh, World Adventures again. Well, yeah, <laughs> it is. Uh, but it's not really the main focus of this whole thing. Um, and you'll see why in just a minute. Um, I did that because it's something that you're going to be working on over a very long period of time. However, you're going to be doing everything. This um, challenge is basically all-encompassing. It covers everything in the entire, all the expansion packs and all the different worlds, everything. So that's why I was doing it. I wanted to have something... Uh, that would just basically cover everything. All right, buddy, go ahead and research again. I have no idea if you're tired or not. Okay. Oh, he needs the bathroom. Um, now, I put him in a career. I decided to go into law enforcement. He's actually made it up to level 7. We haven't been here very often, so he hasn't really maxed out. And uh, that's okay. He's just going to go ahead and continue on it uh, until he actually maxes out. And then he can change jobs whenever he wants to, or he can keep it for as long as he wants. That's never a big deal. Okay, in um, Sunset Valley, since you've got 15 days here, you have basically... You got a couple of things you got to do. One major thing you have to do, and that would be uh, two major things. One, you've got to find a way to get your age to to freeze, which is of course the age freeze potion, and that's one of your lifetime happiness points. Which he got that. It was really easy. So we've locked his age down, and he has actually rolled himself all the way back down with the use of this thing right here. So he is basically a young adult, uh, day one, or actually even earlier. Uh, so that's basically one of the major things you're trying to work on uh, because you're going to be stuck with this guy for the entire 10 months. So you better like who you create because you're going to be you're going to be seeing him for quite quite some time. All right. Now the next thing you have to do is in Sunset Valley, this town, this first one, he has to work on his level three visa in China only. He can't. He can go anywhere else if it's um, directly involved with um, something he's doing in China. Like if they send him to France or they send him to Egypt, that's fine. 
but all he can really work on actively is China. That's it. And then the rest of the time you're working on staying here in the town, building up your career, making money, doing what you got to do. Um, he cannot get married. He cannot have children. He can't do that yet. Uh, and pretty much uh, he can't do it at all, but you'll see why after a while. Anyway, you can get uh, you can have a girlfriend over here. He can uh, get the girlfriend pregnant. Just can't move him into the house. So that's fine, but you don't really want to do that. Now, on day 15, like this is our last day, when we actually finish up today and I actually start opening up the game to play tomorrow, Brandon has to pick up the phone and he has to move to another town. And so the town he's going to go to next is going to be Riverview. Once he's in Riverview, he's going to actually go ahead and he'll now unlock the opportunities to go off and travel in Egypt and he'll work on getting a level 3 visa in Egypt. So that'll be his primary focus while he's there. It's just to kind of continue his career or he can change careers if he wants. It doesn't really matter. Um, get as far as he can get in certain skills and I've got him working on science for a purpose. Um, I have him working on these two things as well. All right, buddy, go to the bathroom. <laughs> you really need to take care of that. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm just kind of doing that. But um, Riverview is going to be where we're going to go take care of um, of Egypt. And there, we're going to stay there for 15 days. And it'll only be 15 days. Now, one of those days, which is normally the first day, I typically will spend setting up the town. So that's when I go in and I will edit the town to what I need. I may not put a whole lot um, because, you know, it's not a really big deal for me. We're not going to be staying there that much. But I'm trying to make as much money here in Sunset Valley so when we do actually move, which we've actually got 140000 uh, we sold a bunch of stuff that we got out of China. Um, when we actually get over there, we will be able to be, um, basically buy whatever we want or something decent. It won't be one of the starter homes. So you know that's kind of my thing, but I am going to have to pack all this stuff up. But that first day, I basically will set up the town with just what I need just to get by, but we'll live in Riverview for about 15 days. Um, we'll work on Egypt and then when Egypt is done and the 15 days are up if he's you know regardless of what he's doing he will pick up that phone and he's gonna move again and this time he'll move to Twinbrook now when he gets to Twinbrook since that's a town that came with an ambitions with an expansion pack he's gonna have to do something ambitions related for his job alright buddy go ahead and clean this up and let me go ahead and let you research one more time and then I'm gonna let you get to bed because it is late and uh, you don't have to work because there's a uh, festival tomorrow Anyway, so he'll have to work in something that would be an ambitious job, so maybe like the ghost hunter, firefighter, um, he could be an inventor, he could do any of that, but it will have to be something while he's there. Um, while he's also in Twinbrook, he's going to have to do some traveling because that's where he's going to unlock France. So he'll spend his time traveling back and forth. Wait a minute, are you getting abducted? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Watch him get pregnant. <laughs> I didn't expect that. That would absolutely mess up my plans. But, you know, if it does, that's okay. We can actually work with it. So I'll do it. Anyway. I kind of hope he does get pregnant just because it will throw something. It'll just throw something a little different. But he's not supposed to have a kid. Uh, if he does, he does. We'll work around it. Anyway, he'll go to Twinbrook. He'll take care of everything there in France. And then um, when he gets finished with his 15 days there, of course, he's moving on to the next town, which, of course, will be Barnacle Bay. And once he's in Barnacle Bay, uh, the World Adventures stop, and he has to then go off and earn a degree so he'll have to go to university at some point during those 15 days and he has to earn his degree there now all this of course he's done it'll be one sim no children unless he gets pregnant by the alien and I'll make him keep it if he gets pregnant I really will uh, but no wives no kids nothing like that um, if he gets pregnant by the alien we just are gonna have end up with five instead of four but my goal was to end up with four all right we're gonna find out soon enough um, <laughs> I really it would suit it would just actually um, it would just be I would deserve that so much all right go ahead and get in there and research and then we no, actually you know go to bed because you got to go to um, the festival and everything tomorrow if the weather actually cooperates anyway after Barnacle Bay it's a little tricky because um, we're gonna go to Bridgeport after that after 15 days and when he's in Bridgeport because it's the only world that is considered a city world he doesn't have to do any traveling he doesn't have to do any adventures no university degrees nothing at all he's done but he will have to do one very special thing and that is he'll have to create a clone of himself and during that time he'll have to raise that clone and have that clone up to a young adult status before he can move on to the next town and of course he's got to do it within that 15 day time period again not 15 sim days 15 real life days so that shouldn't be any big deal 
All right, so once he actually moves from Bridgeport, um, we'll go to Hidden Springs, but then we start the whole process over, but this time we start with his clone. Brandon will still be there, and of course by that time, he'll have maxed out so many skills, and he'll have everything pretty much taken care of. He'll have so many of these things right here that we won't really have to worry about needs and whatnot with him. So I can kind of, you know, shove him off to the side a little bit and work on the new Brandon, which is going to be two idiots sitting around here looking exactly the same. Now this one we're going to have to change. Uh, the, the clone would have to be a different supernatural type, so he can't be a werewolf. He'll have to be whatever else we wanted to, uh, to make him. I'm going to go ahead and just research science again because I really need that. And uh, then of course it'll be the same pattern. He'll do Hidden Springs going off to China. They'll move to Appaloosa Plains. And of course anything that came with a expansion pack like Bridgeport, you have to do a, bridge, a late night career. If you go to Appaloosa Plains, you do a, a pet's career. Um, but Appaloosa Plains, you also have to go off and do, I think it's Egypt, and then you move off to Lunar Lakes, and you got to go off and do France. And eventually when we get to Starlight Shores, we go back to a Showtime career, and he has to go to university. And then when his clone goes to university, or his clone goes to any of the countries, Brandon's free to tag along, or you can leave him behind. It's kind of up to you, however you want to do it. Anyway, you're kind of repeating this pattern with this guy, and you're going to create... What I was trying to do is four different supernatural types. I was going to pick um, four that I wanted to play with. And I was going to have them all maxed out with everything, have their level 3 visas in all the countries, everything that they, need to, that they needed to do. Oh, and there's a way to reset all the tombs. It's very simple. And we'll probably do that um, when I get to the, um, to the clone. And um, anyway, at the very end, I'll have four supernaturals. They will be maxed out, have all the, the different skills. And then um, at the end of the 10-month process, I'm going to split them all up put them in whatever town I want them to start off on and then they'll be kind of like the founders of a different legacy that I'll do just kind of on my own uh, just four different legacies using basically some pretty much the same character just have a slight different name change so anyway that's my personal game that's all I'm really doing um, it's just something that I can run around and do whatever I want to do I like the fact that I only have to deal with one for a long time so I'm not really messing around with kids and all that stuff this scares me. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, he would have something else, I think. Um, yeah, I don't think... I think he'd have a different moodlet. I really don't. I don't think it's actually any big deal. Uh, we'll wait and see. Um, if he gets pregnant, so what? I don't really care. Um, like I said, it'll just be an alien. I wouldn't mind. I haven't had an alien in a long, long time. So I, I kind of wouldn't be upset by that. Anyway, that's kind of my challenge. Or not my challenge, but just my game. That's what I'm doing. So... Um, I'm not really, I'm not really doing anything, you know, crazy or whatever. I'm just kind of doing everything. I wanted to make it something that I would actually use everything. I would use all the different expansion packs and whatnot, and so it just kind of guides itself. You know, Riverview, it's kind of like a base game town. Do whatever you want to do, any kind of career. I'll probably keep him in the law enforcement career until he maxes it out, and then switch him over to something else. Um, I don't know what. I'll probably switch him over to like culinary or something because I like uh, getting all the cooking skill done. But, um, you know, and then, of course, whenever he gets to these expansion pack towns, we'll go some, to do some of the other um, more detailed careers. Is that the post guy or the mail boy, mailman, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> paper boy? I can't even talk tonight. Anyway, I was just talking about uh, telling you guys that I was actually thinking about doing something with my personal game and kind of giving you guys a little update on it. Nothing big. It's nothing exciting. It's just what I do when I'm actually waiting on all my files to render like I'm doing right now and I can't really do anything else. I can play my game while I'm, my files are rendering. I can do all that. I just can't really record. Um, I mean, I can, but you can see that sometimes it gets really, really jerky. It's kind of rough. Sometimes it's not too bad. And like tonight, it's really not that bad, but just depends on uh, what you're doing and how much is on your lot. And we haven't really been moving around. We've stayed right here in this lot the whole time. So that's been a difference. And I need to get uh, actually get out of here and take him over to the festival because I did uh, say I was going to do that. So let me go ahead and have him eat waffles. And let's see, what time is it? 10 o'clock? That's not too bad. Go ahead and use the bathroom, take your shower, and we'll go over to the festival. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. And um, this, of course, is my version of Sunset Valley. And if you've been watching my Klepto King, which just came back out, um, this is my, this pretty much is my version of it. I've got a few things that I did not put in. <laughs> Um, it was actually my master as it was in, in development and then I've gone back and I've really recreated the master but you know you guys have seen this back over here I make this big lot over here with the basketball court and everything but I did this now with um, some of the island paradise stuff so I have a beach down here and then that way if he wanted to be a lifeguard he could come over here and do it 
but I chose instead to go ahead and give him the career as law enforcement. But um, whenever I do play in Sunset Valley, if I want to do that, I have it right here. So I don't know, just something different. And of course, I put the <laughs> I put the llama out. I put it in a lot of different places, so we don't have to actually uh, worry. Of course, this town's so easy to get around; it's no big deal. But um, I did that for him. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Not a whole lot else. I think that's pretty much it. Um, not much else that I can actually tell you. Didn't put any of my other people in. Sometimes I put my other people in the town and um, try to interact with them. But since he's not getting married and we're not actually doing family lines and all that, I figured, nah, I'm not going to mess with that. We're just going to play with whoever's here. He does know quite a few people, but most, of course, all of his friends are really his World Adventures people. Not that many, though. He doesn't have that many close friends. And I didn't really work on Charisma as much as I should have. Um... I have not gotten him any multi-tabs, I haven't done any of the brain enhancing machine, none of that. It's all been pretty much legitimate. Um, let's see, the only thing he's done different as far as premium content is this. I bought him this because I wanted him to get to be friends with an alien that stopped by, but the alien, uh, I'm sorry, um, Brandon actually had to go to work. They called him in to go investigate the evidence or whatever, so he had to leave and go home, um, back to work for a while. Anyway, he's actually not maxed out his werewolf stuff, so we got to work on that, and um, I plan on getting that done hopefully while he's in Riverview and um, he has found a couple of pieces of Tiberium which I think is great unfortunately we have not learned how to actually clone it yeah he's not pregnant so uh, I wish he would actually do it again I I don't know for some reason he just cannot get pregnant um, well he could if I would have had space rocks and I do have space rocks in his um, in his inventory so he should have actually I think that may be why they chose him so maybe maybe not can he do minerals oh yeah he can research them, but I don't think he can clone them yet. I don't think he's high enough for that. Nope, not quite yet. And we got a party. Let's see, did we want to go to that? I don't think so. I really don't want... The parties are usually pretty bo uh, pretty boring, so I don't normally go to them. I t simply... Ugh. Usually, I would just say, nah, we're not going to mess with it. And um, we head out, head out and do whatever we want to go do. Anyway, just kind of giving you guys an idea. When I say what I'm doing in my personal game, this is it. This is basically what I'm going to try to do. And um, like I said, I'm trying to keep it pretty much something I do for the whole year. Uh, I do have one duck and one flamingo. So <laughs> that's it. If you guys happen to want to send him anything, you can. What I'm planning to do is give you guys like one update every, um, probably either towards the middle or towards the end of uh, whenever he's actually wrapping up his uh, time in that in that city so as you can see right here this is towards the end of Sunset Valley um, you can see all the stuff we got in the house so we're gonna have to pack all of it up he is making tons of money we've got a lot of different gems here in his inventory and a lot of bottles of nectar I'm holding off on actually selling some of them because I know we need a lot of that nectar and stuff in different adventures we did max out China and when I say max out China let me go in here and take a look and show you um, let's see is this it yeah we got everything you can get from China, I got. So all the vases, I got all the um, zodiac animals. I even got the two different dropa stones you get in China, which are not easy to find. I got all the tombs taken care of. Uh, let's see, what else did we get? All right, we got one French tomb because they sent us to France to do part of our, um, our challenge. He got cursed by a mummy. Which was kind of funny. That's why we haven't maxed out our career because we had to go uh, to two different places. But yeah, he got cursed by the mummy and we had to actually go over to Egypt and travel to the Sphinx and get that curse taken care of. Which was fun. I actually like doing that. Um, unfortunately, it just took a lot of our time. So yeah, so he did do that. And so I've gone over there, but I didn't really get to do much at all. I didn't let him do any other adventures because I really wanted him to just focus on China. So... But I didn't want it to die because of that, so I said, "Now nah, we're not going to mess with it. But no, I like this kind of challenge because it forces you to not only play and um, use all your expansion packs, but it actually makes you... Go ahead and collect this. Go search for eggs. Um, it also forces you to use all your store worlds and everything. So, I don't know. Just kind of fun. It's just kind of a way to... Um, kind of keep things going and like I said every 15 days you do this and it should wrap up I believe at the beginning of June so I'm trying my best to just kind of go from summer end of summer to the beginning of summer and we'll just make it make it a kind of a fun challenge and I don't know I've never really stuck with a, a game a personal game for that long that hasn't involved like you know legacy families and even then I usually don't stick with it that long but I just thought it'd be kind of fun something different so 
I'm kind of upset I didn't get to spend as much time here, but you know, every time we would come out, it would always be raining and nasty. But we did spend a lot of time in the beginning here in Sunset Valley. And then, of course, I've got other LPs going in this town anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. So I'll see it plenty of times um, while I'm actually working on other LPs. All right, guys, I think that's about it. I think I've actually given you pretty much the entire rundown on what we're doing. Um, so when you oh I have done a lot of the pictures we're starting to work on the photography skill I don't think he's earned the photography skill but we've been taking a lot of pictures yeah he has all right so I got at least the first almost the second level it's one of the challenge or one of the skills that I never do and so I'm trying to work on all the collections and we need to go over and take a picture of the stadium so I need to make him to go do that um, before I forget and you know I will I'm gonna have him just come over here and take a picture of it. And that will tell me where I have to go next. But yeah, every time you take a picture, it will tell you, oh, go here and take, you know, have you tried taking a picture of this? And so you know, we can always go back to the festival. It's not that big of a deal. But yeah, I've never done the photography skill legitimately. I've done it with the brain enhancing machine, which is, mm, you know, it's easy and it's fun. I mean, it's, it's nice to get it done. But I'm trying to avoid all that. I'm trying to actually make it more um, legitimate. And you just, you got to work for what you want. The nice thing about switching towns, and um, I don't know if it's going to actually break all of this communication with the World of Interest people, because I think your, I think your World of Interest files travel with you, um, but I don't know if your relationships travel with you as well for those places. I think they might. I don't know. I'll have to actually see it when we transfer over tomorrow, but um, if not, it's kind of good too, because then we have to start over with this whole building up relationships with people, and you can't just walk up and uh, instantly be friends with anybody. Although it doesn't take long to build that up. So anyway, that's that's my goal. All right, guys. I think that's about it. I'm going to get out of here. It's getting kind of late. I need to go to bed. <laughs> i got to go to work tomorrow. And i got LPs i got to get finished. So um, too many things going on. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, look for another LP update on this. Um, it's just going to be probably one of his final nights in Riverview and you'll see how he's done uh, looking at it right now he's got about 141,000 he might have a few more things over in the consignment store I don't think so I think it all sold out yesterday I haven't heard any of the um, the cash register me uh, sounds so I don't think he's uh, selling anything today but like I said I've got tons of other stuff in there I could sell and there's a lot of stuff in the trunks but I'm just holding on to it oh that's one thing let me go back to the house and show you what I'm doing <laughs> okay now this is something if you do this this is a really good thing to do when he got over there to um, to China he got the red assassin bug quest or adventure so what I did is I collected red assassin bugs and he has one is it in here or do I keep it in his inventory it may be in this inventory. Let's see. Let's go in here and double check. Uh, is it this one? No, it's cockroach. Um, I swear he has one. I know he's got one. He better have one. <laughs> if he doesn't, I'm going to be sick. Okay. Uh, no, did I just pass it? I might have. Is that it? No, that's a light beetle. Hang on. Let me just stop you for a minute because I don't want you doing what I don't want you to do. Um, I thought I got one. There it is. Nope. It's a spider. All right, make me out to it. There we go. He's got two extra red assassin bugs. Now, what I'm going to do is once he actually gets the skill level up high enough in science, he is going to scan this thing and he's going to analyze it and he's going to make as many copies as we can because, you know, every other generation is going to have to go up there or every other clone is going to have to go up there and actually um, get a, uh, do the entire adventure. And I don't want to have to go hunt for those ridiculous assassin bugs. So anyway okay we did sell something all right let's go ahead and take a picture of this all right so um that should have given us something oh wow we made some money we discovered a new photo collection called around town all right so now we have to go try to capture the park okay let's go on back to the festival and we'll do that um but see that's how the photography thing works and if you want to see that picture you just go down in here it should be in your inventory somewhere is that it where's that well, it showed up earlier. Um, I looked at the other ones and I moved them all into the trunk. However, it's probably, you have to look at it on the camera, I think. But eventually it did show up. It will show up this way. Um, that's right. And there's your Tiberium. Oh, no, the Tiberium is somewhere in here. That's why he's got this um, nauseous moodlet, which I will take it out. But um, like I said, we're about to move, so I'm not really going to worry about it. Now, I can't move today, even though I would like to, um, to go ahead and get started. But... 
we're not going to do it. Let me go ahead and just tell him to take a picture again. And like I said, this is the first time I've ever worked on this thing. So I figured, you know, we'll just give it a try. All right. Make sure it registers as the park. Hopefully it will. Did that register? You captured flowers? No. All right. We didn't capture tombstone. Okay. Well, we're going to go up here. All right. That's not too bad. We got up there to level two. Um, it may not actually register as a, uh, as a park as it's a festival right now. All right, let's try one more time. <laughs> Maybe. Like I said, I don't ever do this. This is a this is something new. I just thought I would try it. I would do it just because you know it's always good to try something different. And this expansion pack has so many different things. I don't want to get her. <laughs> All right, I don't want to get that. All right, can we get this? Did that do anything for us, or is that just a wasted picture? <laughs> I think it's just a waste. Okay, maybe so. All right. Tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and take him out. And um, Oh, yeah, I wanted to check something else. <laughs> that's not good. I have no idea what that was, but that's not good at all. Okay, my junkyard is actually... Where am I at? I'm turned around. It's over here. Okay, let's go see if anything spawned over here. Um... He's got a few things. It's not like my Klepto King Challenge where there's like tons of stuff over here. Um, there's not as much here. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, my Klepto King Challenge, there is just a ton of things everywhere. Anyway. Yeah, so anyway, that's the thing. Oh, and all the clones that come forward, they're all going to have to have the same lifetime wish. They all have to have that season traveler thing. Well, actually, they don't. He had to. Um, they guess. I guess they could actually do whatever they want. Um, I just was trying to do something where he would actually uh, benefit from all of his travels. But I wanted everybody to actually get that and um, just have some fun with them, just to do something different. And I do it just because I love world adventures. I know a lot of people don't, but I really do. I think it's fun and it just kind of, it breaks up the game. It makes it to where it's not just, you know, get married, have kids, you know, watch them die and repeat it all over again. So it's, it just gives you something new. So, and I like the Supernaturals just because it's always something different, but all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing done. I'm going to wrap this up and get out of here. I hope you guys are enjoying um, all the new LPs, or actually not the new ones, the uh, the returning LPs that have all come back. Uh, I'm really excited that I've actually got everything coming back, and there may even be one more surprise or two coming up. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> all right. Um, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying it, and my schedule... If it hasn't already started, it is. I'm planning to have it start on September the well, whatever Sunday is. I think that's September the seventh or eighth. I don't know. I really don't know. I'd have to go look. Um, it's the eighth, I think. Anyway, that's where my new schedule should be starting, and I will post that schedule out once I actually finalize it and get it up there. And so you'll kind of have an idea of when to expect to see whatever series of mine that you're following or series if you're following more than one all right guys thank you so much for watching <laughs> hope it didn't ramble on too much i have no idea how long this is all right i will see you guys in the next lp and look for another update on this and we'll see how he's done of course he's wrapping this up here at about 152,000. i don't expect much more because i'm going to be actually turning this thing off soon to go to bed and then uh, when you see him come back maybe he'll be much better off He'll still be in by himself, but we'll have something else accomplished. So <laughs> thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.